Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So right now we are working on this trailer <clears throat> and we're gonna add a winch plate to the front of it. The customer bought a 9,000 pound Badlands winch from Harbor Freight and the box. And so what he's wanting is, I'll put a, a picture up in the video here in a second of what he's wanting me to make. So we're gonna hide the winch and hopefully that battery in there as well. I don't know if we can fit it all. If not, we'll have to add an exist another box up front right here and build it for the battery. Um, but that's what we're working on today. So right now we're gonna use our Yes Welder 45 amp plasma cutter to cut and mount this C channel to mount along the front right here. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And uh, so what I'm doing today is just kind of going along and just adding bracing gonna add the mount for the winch and then we're gonna add the box and try and fit it all together and make it bolt up and so um, I've got this C channel this is a three inch C channel quarter inch thick and so we're gonna add two of those this way and then we're gonna add the plan is to add a piece of 3 16 on, on top of it and then add a strip of 3 16 down the side to kind of cover all this in and so that way, uh, it just gives it more of a look, a finished look. So we got the box set in place and right now we're measuring for the guides in the roller bracket there. And what we're gonna do is I don't want it, I don't want the pin riding right on the, the wood. So we're gonna raise this up probably a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna come in here and notch this out because the quarter inch or 3 16 plate that we put in here that's what that's going to bolt to, and it'll use a carriage bolt for that. So here's the progress of where we're at right now. We've been finished welding, not to the frame yet, but finished welding the box in. The plate and the uh, braces and channel iron. And then all we like is this seam around here. And then once we get that done, then we can move on to the other parts of... Uh, making sure everything else lines up. And then once we're ready, it'll probably be the final step. We'll clean off the actual frame to the trailer and we'll solid weld it in across here and then down on both sides. So it's gonna look like this right here. We're gonna weld down there and up to that angle. And then we're gonna weld solid weld all the way across the top. And 3 16 we went to 3 16 because it's gonna be sufficient enough for what we're doing. It's also what we already had on the table. And we only had just a hair over a quarter inch between the box and this mound here. So we had to 
allow for some extra room for the carriage bolts. So that's why 3 16 is what we went with. stretch so hopefully today within two to three hours we can finish this thing up all we like is the wiring getting all that put in place and making sure that uh, everything operates correctly so everything to this point has went together real nice and smooth and uh So here's an update on the progress. We've got our fuse panel mounted, our other board mounted. This is where we're gonna tie in the power and the ground if you need to run an additional circuit or whatever you want. If you wanted to add something to it, you can just tie off of, add another fuse and tie off and power so that you can connect. And then, um, and this also has a cover that goes on it to protect anything from uh, shorting it out. <clears throat> so we've got our switch hooked up. We've got our power to our, uh, fuse panel wired on the on off switch for the battery so when it's off nothing has power in this box and then so right now we've still got to do the uh the light wiring and then add the uh, on off switch which is right here for the lights and then after that i guess we'll just uh, do some touch-up paint cut these studs off on the bolts that we used and then uh, test everything out so the trailer's done, and I'm very satisfied with it. It turned out really good. But anyways, we got this done. Got all of our wires hot glued up just to keep them up against the back wall. The switches and boards mounted, fuse panel switch. Switch for the lights. Just in case you're wondering what it looks like underneath when it was all mounted. As you can see, the three inch channel iron, both of them, and we got the 3 16 plate, which mounts the winch and the toolbox together at the same time. Then we've got these angle braces. If you can remember from the video before, we plug welded them on top so to help keep that plate up there as well as weld them here. So that concludes this video. We thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next one.